Even though 2021 was rough, I bet 2022 will be the year we finally set our differences aside and respect the rule of law and basic human rights. Die decent! Well, I tried as blood splatters all across the UN's face, and we're starting off 2022 so strong. Tell Switzerland, what is the secret to your success? Well, can you take care of this gold? Not asking why it is in the form of tooth fillings. Sure, you can always withdraw after you've won the war. Also, Switzerland being like, more cocoa, child slaves, or else I'll steal your water too. <laughs> Congratulations, you just won the World Cup host. Hey, if some of your slaves survive, can you send them over? Switzerland popping out of their daydreaming. Uh, basic democracy and rule of law, of course. Wow, says Poland, they're impressed. Switzerland sure does know how to lead by example. Wow, America, I can't believe you amassed a debt of over $30 trillion. I mean, if you can't control your spending, you'll become a debt slave, paying off interest more than paying off your debt. You know what, Canada? You're absolutely right. I should start by going to the bank tomorrow and talk about my finances on ways to limit my debt. Chubby America trying their best to roll their way to the Bank of China. Hey China, I need another loan. Oh really? What for? To pay my previous loan to you. Sure, okay. <laughs> And next week, they'll do the same exact thing. It's a vicious cycle. Fun fact, though, China is not the number one holder of U.S. debt. It's actually Japan. Hey, we received this letter from Britain. Say here, they foreign coming here to visit today. I. they come here? We need to portray ourselves to be professional and modern. Don't worry, I greet them. Hello, old chap. How's the weather today? What the hell? Are they speaking Latin to Britain and France? They're just as confused as I am. So back in like the 1920s, the Republic of China still thought Europe spoke mostly Latin. So they would actually use that language to speak to them. If only Britain and France brought Italy as well. India, fact time. Did you know the moon used to be orange? When Burama created world, he made moon orange too because India. But evil West was jealous. Why moon is meatball? India is too perfect. So evil West sent man into moon in 1969 to paint it white. So this is reason moon is the color it is right now. Thank you, Indian science man. This explains everything. This must have been why the footage was in black and white to avoid showing the orange moon before they painted it. I love these cooking recipes. How to make your own Denmark. Step one, place a few hundred thousand Norse pagans in a thematic bowl, preferably the Dane variety. Step two, chop a cold stick of English gold into pea-sized chunks. Step three, carefully mix gold chunks, but don't break them up too small. Step four, traditionally, you would have to soak the balls in holy water for years to achieve the Christian taste. However, we have a packet of instant Christ. Step five, after a few centuries, the pagans should have formed into a coherent nation. Step three, thankfully the Swedes and Danes being in the same country is chemically impossible, and the Swedes should rip themselves and a few other Nordics away from Denmark. Step 7. Place in a 220 degree oven for 30 years. Make sure to give Denmark a few centuries to cope. Step 7. Optionally, you could slice off the ends of your Denmark for purely aesthetic reasons. Some might remove the Greenland as well, but in this recipe, I've left it on. Presentation is key, I've learned that from Gordon Ramsay's. Step 8. And there you go, a buttery, crisp Denmark. You could serve it the Danish way, or the Danish way. Mmm, that looks tasty. Just never serve alongside a Swedish ball dish. That'll definitely make you vomit. The five stages of EU membership for the British. Step one, acceptance. I'm not sure I want to join, but I made you this. <gasps> Where do I sign up? Oh, next up we have depression. Everything here revolves around the German and French. I regret joining. Then there's anger and lots of it. I'm bloody done with you, you bureaucrat. I'm leaving and that's final. All the smaller kingdom balls fighting in the background. England's like, no, we gotta listen. Scotland and Ireland don't want to, though. A cute little whales ball. Wait, did we mess up the order? Ireland trying to absorb Northern Ireland. Ah, yes, don't forget bargaining and even more of it. If leave, can we at least sign a trade deal? Yeah, that sounds good. Would things make more... How about I keep all the advantages, but without the downsides of the union? Why would I agree to that? Germany really loving all the paperwork they have to do in the background. And finally, there's denial. EU... I have never been in EU, says the UK. Something tells me whenever we get a step six is gonna have to do with all this anger from the smaller balls. He 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 says Japan. He 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 kawaii cat cute. I am holding an ice cream right now in order to appease my Chinese shareholders. He 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 America funny. He 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 watching paint dry very funny. He 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 Jamaica man funny. He 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 Japan. What the hell is so funny? He 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 he
<laughs> I guess the joke here is that it's common in Japan for a lot of girls to laugh at everything, but this one was pretty funny. I don't know if Frankenreich is dead or alive until I open the box, says Austria. Mmm, nom 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 nom. Shut up! Oh, they said, mmm, onion. And this is because France, believe it or not, made a song about onions. And they specifically mentioned that Austria gets no onions. There it is right there. Wow. What an insult. Communal Euro breakfast with all the people from the continent. Frankenreich, could you pass me some onions? Proceeds to break into that very song we just heard. N n never mind. Didn't think baguettes and onions would go so well together for a country. Living a life in luxury in the roaring 20s where we're rich and we own things made of gold is splendid, isn't it, France? Please, rich peoples, I poor, can you spare a coin? Oh dear. Is there an economic crisis brewing due partly to us blindly indulging in our lavish lifestyles without noting the possible consequences and you're one of the first to see the effects? No, I poor because I Poland. Oh yeah, of course. I cannot believe I nailed that line. <laughs> I literally can't get like through four words sometimes without stuttering. Stop being Zionist. Maybe then all your neighbors won't dislike you. Last time I checked, your neighbor is not liking you very much either. Nonsense, I'll prove you wrong. Hey, Yun and Stan, are we friends? No, go away. Is Greece. Syria? Are we? Ah! Perhaps this is a bad time. Armenia would be like, I hate you with every molecule of my being. Jeez, what did we ever do to you? You don't even remember? Ah, Azerbaijan. We're friends, yes? Yes, we friends. Ha, you see that, Zionist? I'm having neighbor who is a friend. Yes, and also friend of Israel. You're ruining this for me. Azerbaijan is just that friends that's literally friends with everybody. So sorry, yeah, he doesn't count. Get out of Kervoal as Poland sprays Egypt. It's cold here. This year I want to go to a warm place. Hmm, it's warm here in Kazakhstan. Kazakh, Poland of Central Europe is hero that came to help from evil Russia scheme. No, Poland, water. No, 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 no. We burned pink. Yeah, you idiot. I didn't take chemistry class. I think you just made Kazakhstan's whole situation way worse, Poland. Oh, the Kazakhstan cube kept saying potassium. And yeah, when you put water on potassium, it does turn pink. Oh, like, sparks a pink flame. Why did we do this in my chemistry class? They tried to warn us right here with all these words. This year, Estonia will finally into embrace being your lake misfit in Baltic and into knowing neighbors better. Oh, they're not going to be Nordic anymore. Where Euro monies, says Latvia. <laughs> Russia's sucking down that vodka. Lithuania. No, don't leave Lithuania. Must have future workforce as everyone leaves to not Lithuania. Oh, that's crazy. I'm living there right now. Guess Estonia will just try again next year. Yeah, I guess as soon as you start to figure out your Baltic neighbors, you understand why you kind of want into Nordic. I'm now just learning about Uralic languages. This would be a pretty crazy union if they got them all together. Like a North Pole Empire and then randomly hungry. Lithuania again. Ah, 2022. First day of many. Ding. Wait, who texted me at this hour? 508. 14 missed calls, 50 missed texts, all from China. Whoa! In the Lithuanian Times newspaper, small countries stick together. Oh, my friend Taiwan. Did you just call that place a country, says China? That's it. Until you say sorry for what you did, I'm going to boycott you to death. But I was selling tons of hard liquor. Choke on it. Lithuania, why not give to me? After Nicaragua left me for fake China, I could use drink and a friend. Why not make party with all that rum next day? For why is Lithuania not answering the call? Ungrateful. If it begs for my help to negotiate with China, the least he could do is pick up the phone. Hmm. Lithuania's ringtone comes from behind Taiwan's door. <gasps> what the hell happened here? Remember the 15th century? I got really drunk. So drunk that I got married and then ended. Next, Eastern Europe. Why are all these dead Asian balls here? So you got drunk again and got married again and conquered half a continent again? Poland going to be so jealous. And this did actually happen. Taiwan bought 20,000 bottles of Lithuanian rum destined for China. Now that's what real friends are for. Hey Finland, I know you are depressed and all, but I think I have a fix for New Year resolution. How about you go outside and see the sun every once in a while? That helps often a lot, says Denmark. Next day at 11 a.m. Maybe Danish is right. Maybe it's good good to see sun. Time to go out and see sun. Oh wait, that's right, Finland never gets to see sun, especially in this time of year. Actually, in this village in Finland, they literally do not see the sun. It is just pure darkness. This year, I'm going to be more productive, says Sealand, as they jump rope, lift weights, and do, uh, track? Go, 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 says big old Great Britain, as they watch this tiny little country do events. Sealand's about to win all the medals in the Olympics, even though there's only like 20 people that live on this offshore platform. Poland enters HR, 
are. Oh, looks like they're trying to get a job. It's so nice for you to come here and apply for a position here at our company. I see help wanted. Give Poland job now. Whoa, slow down there. I need to ask you some questions first before I can determine if you're qualified for this position. Now, how many years of work experience do you have? I have a lot of experience in interviews. Do you have post-secondary degree right now? No, have only high school. Do you have experience in UX design? Nah. Do you have experience with SWE or any STEM background? Nah. Are you able to work for 365 hours a week, seven weeks out of a month? Nah. Do you identify yourself as a visible minority from disadvantaged background? I don't know, maybe. Do you have a fully operating liver, heart, and brain that does not require regular maintenance? Uh, you mean healthcare? Yeah, something like that. Nah. Do you have a master's degree in feminist dance therapy or a PhD equivalent? Nah. I tell you, I only have high school diploma. Are you able to wake up at 6 a.m. in the local time of that place? Nah. Will you commit your entire life and servitude to our soulless megacorp? Yes. Are you? Nah. Do you want? No. Do you have any experience relating to quantum analysis in fintech? Nah. Are you fully vaccinated? Yes. From smallpox? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you able to do a somersault with your hands tied behind your back while being blindfolded while above a vat of electric eels? Nigh. How many years of experience do you have fighting crocodiles? None. Can you speak fluent Tagalog, Russian, Swahili, Urdu, Bengali? Nigh. Are you able to learn quantum physics proficient in less than 250 minutes? Nigh. Are you mentally slow? No. Do you require to use public transportation every day if you're hired? You mean public transportation? No. Pubic transport. Nigh. Do you have any experience cooking a flame and young? Medium rare. Nigh. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Are you okay with me paying you uh, with Venezuelan Boliviars? <laughs> Nye. With the minimum wage of Qatar. Nye. Do you have experience as a plumber? Yes. For America? No. <sighs> Look, Canada, I, I think that this job is asking too much from me. Poland is trying another job of entry that asks less requirement. Why does this keep happening to me, says Canada? Yeah, honestly, I don't know why they just didn't lie. Hey, you want to guess what my New Year's resolution is? I'm going to start to use this alphabet. What, says Russia? A while later. Oh, is this them practicing? I'm done. You're done? Can we see with Bulgaria behind him? Here's my new alphabet. It has 76 letters and 23 that thing. I created a few new letters, so it's, uh, whatever. I, oh, they didn't like it. They, oh, they'd rather just oof themselves instead of deal with that. Yeah, this is probably the best way Poland can get all their neighbors just to get rid of themselves. So, dear neighbor, have you got any New Year's resolutions, says New Zealand to Antarctica? Oh, they want to bring the temperature down. Now they want to know what Australia wants for 2022. Yeah, my 2022 resolution is just my 2021 and 2020 and 2019 resolution. Just to stop being on fire. You want me to go for some water? I don't remember asking for your opinion, a-hole. They want to stop being on fire, but they don't want New Zealand's help in getting any water. What a beautiful relationship. And big thanks to I Stole Drew's Pet Dog. I Love Mark. Drew's Arab Sugar Daddy. Luxembourg Lover. King Corey. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Canadian Union. Dalton D. Bring Back Poland Barnsky W. Arian After Hours. A Fat Norwal. Alfonso M6. Ivan Lima. Majestic Unicorn. Populous Michael. Max Cooper. Mick Blorf. Mimo Shiki. Mind Brothers 999. Robert Philip e. R. F. And Ride the Pie. 